May the 8th, 2021. As you're looking at info from a few minutes ago, as we were reaching peak altitude on the rocket that we're tracking over Tajikistan, and it peaks, if you look at the center, it is at 190.9 kilometers, but it will peak here in just a second at 191. You will see it slow down as it gets to these changes from rising in elevation to lowering it. But right there at 1.39 p.m. Central Time, this thing hit uh, 118.68 miles. That's the highest point. Now, and you can see it as I pull it up a little closer on the screen. Now, at 191 kilometers, again, that's 118.68 miles. That's the highest part. And if we back this up in time, which you can do on the software, you'll see that we went down to the low point of 146.6 kilometers, which is 90.72 miles. Again, the, just the last low point. When you start getting into that 90-mile range, you're getting very close to getting grabbed into the uh, dragging effect of the earth, of the gravity, and uh, this thing will start firing up and disintegrate. Uh, remember the last one from last year, same size, through metal rods 10 feet long, I think, in sections uh, through some buildings in Africa. But it's peaked out over Tajikistan at, again, 118 miles. We'll back this thing up, and uh, you'll see that a few hours, well, about 45 minutes ago, it, it has a complete orbit every 98.6 minutes. And so it has two low points and two high points within the, that orbit. But the low point was 146 kilometers or 90.72 miles. Again, that's when you're getting into that drag. And uh, if we look at this, you can project it and you can do a couple other things with it. But the they're going to and I'm going to pull it up, but they're going to project about five orbits that they think will be uh, where the satellite actually hits land or hits water. But this is going back to um, 12.48 p.m., and you see that was the low point at 146.6, again, 90.72 miles. But if you put in the information and you ask it to uh, find the most likely spot that this thing's going to hit, it will show you about five different orbits. That's because, again, you've got a plus or minus four-hour window, which is eight hours, and you're gonna, you can get five orbits into the eight hours at, at a, roughly an hour and a half for, per orbit. But uh, now it's over Mongolia as we go back, and you can see at the top the altitude is continuing to decline. And if you want to write down 146.6, kilometers or 90.72 miles now if we look close up at these five predicted orbits that they think it's going to come down in you can see the last one that they think and it's going to possibly hit in the Indian Ocean will come over Libya Ethiopia out into the Indian Ocean itself the one above it crosses uh, Israel and then the one above that crosses Iraq and Iran into Pakistan and crosses India you see they dipping down through Australia but those last tracks, the last three orbits, the first one crosses the Florida coast, comes out of the Gulf of Mexico on the bottom one. The second one comes through Mexico, Texas, Arkansas, West Virginia, below New Jersey. The third one brings it through California, Arizona, and out through Connecticut. Those are the orbits and the five orbits that they suspect this thing will come down. Why five? Because you've got an eight-hour window. And you have about five orbits that can occur during that eight-hour window, plus or minus uh, four hours from the time they suspect it coming down, which is at 3.53. Now, that's a.m., 3.53 in the morning, 4 o'clock. That's UTC time. That's going to put it here in central U.S. between 11 p.m. tonight and maybe 3 a.m. or up to eight hours, excuse me, up to 7 a.m. in the morning from 11 tonight uh, p.m. Central till around 7 a.m. in the morning Central. But uh, it's over South Korea now. You can see it's going to cross Japan, go down through Argentina, come up through Africa, cross Egypt, going through Iraq. The uh, altitude as I'm doing this again, let's go to it's uh, 1.50 p.m. as I'm doing the video. And it's down to 181 
kilometers. Remember, it peaked at 191. So just keep an eye on this, guys. It'll give you the eye, the area most likely where it's going to crash. You got, and they're talking about uh, possibly in the ocean, but it doesn't happen like that every time. Just keep an eye on it, guys. We're watching it. You watch it. Uh, look for the link below. It's a heads up. Be safe.